Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banner of Isaac Athred Plus where I tried to represent in the previous episode. We've been doing our Eden runs and it's been going fine. We're on a two streak now. It's going good. So we're going to carry that on. We're going to carry that on. We've only got 45 Eden tokens, which is actually kind of surprising. But anyways, that doesn't really matter. Let's get in, see what start we end up getting. See if the game's going to be mean to us. Oh, look, 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 look. We got this again. This is a good start. This is a really good start. Just remember, never use the talisman outside of a room because it's a one use uh luckily thankfully the uh the guys over at ipecac went and changed the item description over on the wiki so no one else will be uh confused the way i was but essentially this item's really good when we use it with uh rooms with enemies in we can basically kill a free enemy every room. It's really, really good. If we use it outside of a room, it gives us a reward based on how many souls we've taken. So essentially, we want to use this for as long as possible without um, without using it and then like use it on like the last floor. Or when we, basically, when we find either a better active item or when we get to the later floors to get like really good rewards out of this. And yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to have this item once again. And we, we are getting some weird... Weird specific look with Eden here where we're getting similar items again. We've got Gemini here. Very happy to have Gemini. Gemini is a boy that I can that I can definitely use in my runs to kill things. So let's go. Also, bomb bomb economy on the first floor is looking really good. We also do have a deal with the devil chance here. I'm expecting to lose it. So just just so you know. For some reason, in my brain, I'm just like, I don't know. It feels like it's going to be hard to end up keeping this. There's, a, there's, there's some enemies on the first floor that can hit me very easily. Some champions that can be a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, if we manage to get to a shop, I'm definitely going to go into it. Uh, it seems like it'll be worthwhile. Nice. It can kill enemies that are normally unkillable. So that's very good to know. Very good to know indeed. The one thing that we've got to make sure of is that we don't accidentally use the talisman in an enemy that's in a room that's got no enemies. Oh. Look, guaranteed damage. <laughs> That's fucking mean. Uh, I'm just going to bomb my way through this, but without a bomb, that would have been a guaranteed damage room. That's that's some that's some BS right there. That is some BS right there. Wait, what the hell exploded into tears then on me? Okay. The question is, do we just go for the boss and try our best? I think we do. I think we just go for it and hope that we don't get uh, shafted. I think this boss, we should be fine. I think. It's very hard to say with this boss sometimes because it's very, very random. But we should be okay here. And I'm hoping we get, like, soul hearts. We did get HP up, which is good. And we got a trinket as well. Um, Yeah. And then we just got to hope that this next boss isn't one that's going to really easily hit us. Because, obviously, no soul heart. Monstro, we might be okay here. Monstro can be a little random at times. Uh, the that, that attack that you just did there can hit you sometimes unexpectedly. Um, but I'm thinking we can kill him pretty quick with the, uh, the current setup that we've got. As long as we keep our distance and keep moving similarly. There you go. Give us more HP to trade. It did. Great. And gave us damage as well. Great item there. Um, well... I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. This this game is just throwing me the win. Like, so I've got a few options here. Well, I can, e I can either take Just Go Ahead and leave with this demonic thing. I can take the guaranteed win in Satanic Bible. I don't know. It's it's too... I think I have to take it, even though this is really good. Let's, let's pop this. Got a black heart. And there you go. I, I, I can't, I can't not. I, I like the demonic um, pendant, whatever it's called, but this is just too good to let go. And actually, we've been to pretty much everything we need to see this floor. And now we have Goat Head as well. God damn, was that amazing. What a great first floor. What a great first floor. This time, at least I feel a bit more vindicated in my use of the demonic pendant, or whatever its name is. Um, we're definitely going to open this for an item. We're well, one-off bookworm. Which is pretty damn nice. We've got two keys left as well, so we can still open this other one here. A little bit of extra money. That's great. I can't believe I got hit then. Did that did that take a full soul heart off of me? I think it did. Don't know why. Was it a champion? Must have been a champion, me not noticing. 
Okay, let's be careful here. We're, we're, we're kind of playing this a bit risky. Kind of playing this a little bit risky. We still have low HP currently. Just because we have ways to generate HP doesn't mean we should play too frivolously with the HP that we have. So let's be careful. This is kind of a hard room. Having uh, different enemies that fire different directional tiers, all of them being the same direction away from you, kind of hard. Got ourselves a se uh, secret room here as well. A book of secrets did actually reveal them for us this floor. And we now have enough to make use of the shop as well. This is, this is just going great. It's going so great. Okay, flies. No, thank you. Extra key there. This is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this run so far. I have to say, I'm loving this run so far. Don't know about you guys, but <laughs> that definitely makes me love it even more. My God. And we still have 100% deal with the devil. Oh, of course we do. We got, we've got uh, Goat Head. That's kind of what that does, you dunce. <laughs> I was like, how come we still have 100% deal with the devil? We just got one. That's what that item does, you fool. Goat Head do be amazing. It do be amazing. And also our damage and stuff is just really good as well, like... We, we started with very good stats and got even better stats after. I'm just, I'm hot. Oh, this is a, this is a nightmare fueled room. No, no. I got stuck on the damn hole. That, that room with a champion in it is evil. I mean, we're, we're still doing okay for HP, but that's still a hard room. A hard room to get behind. Okay, these guys shouldn't be too hard. Okay, good, good. A hey, another uh, battery charge is great. Buying a battery charge is even better, especially when the item's kind of turd. What what card is this? Get out of jail. Okay. I'll take a get out of jail. Let's go. I probably should have waited on buying that um buying that battery charge, but it's okay. It's not it's not too big of a waste. As long as we have enough HP to start trading, I'm pretty much okay with it, and we kind of do. Okay, angry flies are coming at us. Luckily, the angry fly and that little spider dude. Oh, that was a charge key as well. My God, this game, it's, it's just in love with me today. It's in love with me. I've been absolutely loving this. Ooh, it's the these dudes. These dudes can hit me pretty easily. So I've had, I've, I've had a few bad hits from these guys. So let's stay quite, quite well aware. Could he try to use that guy to open the secret room for us? But I'm not going to mess around with that too much. Lots of red hearts there, and let's go for our deal with the devil and see what we can do. This guy isn't too bad. It's mainly, his main attack that's annoying is that one right there where he throws the little headless dudes at you, the jumping jacks, because they can kind of go everywhere, and he can throw quite a few of them, but luckily, he charges the attack up quite slowly, so it's pretty easy to predict, and these fires are, like, very, very easy. If he combos them, sometimes it can be a little hard. That, that one there is the one I'm talking about, the combo, sort of the double. Um, tears and shot speed. Okay, this is... It just keeps getting better. Okay, that was that was possibly the worst destruction of, um, of skulls in the history of ever. Got two hosts. Good. Ooh, you almost got me there. Trying to destroy that red fire over there just in case, but it's kind of not really working out. Lump of coal. I can take a lump of coal. My god. This is just unprecedented amounts of good run. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting lucky beyond beyond what should be possible. The thing that's baffling me more than anything is I keep getting the same items. Like like in terms of in terms of variety of like supporting items like the ones that are helping us out and helping us stay alive we're getting the same ones a lot and a lot and a lot it's kind of surprising like satanic bible in this streak so far since we started eden streaking has shown up like four times three or four times i think nice fecal care for the fecal just noticed that let's be very careful around those very careful around those uh, recently, I had a I had a bit of a funny situation happen to me. I'm gonna get just a little bit into. Oh my god, god damn! I'm gonna say this is a little bit too much Isaac talk and not enough banter. So let's get into the bantaloons. Um, but anyways, I uh, I had this situation recently where so I think I mentioned it over on my Discord and probably YouTube as well that I had a plum around recently because both of our toilets broke at the exact same time, which was just fantastic. Um, yeah. I, that, that, that was uh, a not, not a very pleasant two days because obviously it's lockdown in the UK, so there's literally nowhere you can go. 
I mean, come on. It just keeps giving us the same items. I'm not going to take it because we took it recently. But that's that, that's just crazy. See if we can re-roll it, maybe. There's, some, there's something weird going on in the back end here. Um, but yes, I had, a, I had a plumber around. And I felt really bad because I messaged my landlord and obviously said, like, right. I can't, I can't go to the toilet at all. Like, I need, I need this fixing ASAP. And so she sent someone round. And she said, oh, they're going to come round at about 5 o'clock. And I was like, okay, 5 o'clock's fine. I'll be finished with work by then. And, like, m my work, the, the job that I do is very, very, very good. In the fact that I basically just work the hours that I want to. Um, we, everyone, everyone at the job has kind of agreed that's what we want to do. We just work when, when it, we feel it's necessary or when we feel it's best for us. We don't have specific times, which is really, really convenient for my YouTube stuff. And it's just it's just nice in general. So most of the time him arriving early wouldn't matter But I, I said I, she said after five and I said after five sounds good to me and um, and on this one day I had a very 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 important meeting with work that I was running. I was running a meeting with some investors um, To to like see if we can in, get get them to invest in our business because I'm, I'm working on a startup uh, so it was very, very important, and I was the one running the meeting, and it was like started at like half past three. So I was like, "That's cool. He's not going to come for another hour and a half of that." And what does he do but turn up at exactly half past three, unprompted? I'm like, well, "What are you doing here? But, you know, oh, is he be here for an hour and a half?" And I am not kidding. I basically, because I was already in the meeting at this point, I was meant to be like introduction, introducing everyone, and and he arrived. I'm not kidding. He arrived, and I came out the door, and basically went. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. Like, I know that you've just spent your time and, and money making your way here, but you arrived on like at the wrong time when you said you'd be arriving later. Sorry, buddy. Please leave. <laughs> just told him to go away straight away. I felt really bad, but at the same time, I was like, like, you arrived at literally the worst time. Luckily, we got someone else out later in the day. But it's like, I, like. How often has anyone had a handyman arrive early? If anything, they arrive really, really late. My god, battery charges. Very nice. Pick you out. Good, good. Ooh, a dime as well. Do we have a shop this floor? We've already been, we've already been to the shop. The shop was kind of bad, wasn't it? Loving the Curse of the Fecal here. Speaking of Curse of the Fecal as well, actually, um, Edmund put out another blog post just yesterday, and he basically, it was it was titled Shits and Giggles, and it, it essentially detailed some of the new shit-based enemies, and, like, one of the alt flaws um, for the alt path in Repentance is just a poop flaw, <laughs> and there's, like, a new poop boss and stuff, and he, he showed Dirty Mind. For those of you that don't know what Dirty Mind is, it was an item that was in um, Anti-Birth, and he said it was one of his favourites, actually. And it was really cool. Essentially, whenever you destroyed a poop, it would summon a dip, like one of the one of the little basic poops, to fight for you. Um, and different poops gave, gave different coloured dips that had all did different things on attack or on death. It was really, really cool. It was a really unique item, and I'm super happy to see it returning. I was expecting it to return, to be honest. Like, I wasn't expecting it to not return. Um, but I'm, I'm very glad to see that it is because it's a very, very cool item. And anti Birth just had a few of those items that were super unique and super great. One minute. Oh, I've got... At the minute, I've got a, a bit of an issue with recording videos. And it's, it's a very minor one, but it's also a very annoying one. Um... I don't know how many of you get this, but during the winter, uh, Bliss, shot speed down, yeah, okay. Um, nice damage up. Um, during the winter, I, oh my fucking god. Just hand us the win, why don't you? Um, I get really bad dry skin, um, and it, like, it gets really, really itchy. And it's one of those things where it's like, it's fine. Until I start doing something where I cannot itch it. Oh, Cass is vanishing. Okay. Um, until I start doing something where I take my hands away and, and I can't touch it like this when I'm recording. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to itch so unbearably much that you have to take your hands away from your keyboard. That's the rules. I'm like, oh, shit. I, I thought they both landed in the same spot then. It's like, why? Why do you have to do this to me? All I want to do is record. Wait. Okay. I was going to say what the hell happened to him. You kind of disappeared for a little while there. Nice. Mum's knife. It's been a while since we've had Mum's knife. Very happy to have it. This is just a godly run. I mean, to be fair, any any run where you get goat head on the first floor is likely to be a godly run. It, it just is. It just is. Like, this is a good run. I'm hoping we get one more book and get bookworm as well. Hello. Wow, that was uh, a bit rude, but don't worry about it. We healing up. 
he kind of just like shot me right in the face there. Oh well, but yeah, like it's really cool to see. Yeah, uh, I've been I've been loving reading the blog posts like just in general, but it's really cool to see yeah um, classic items coming back. Like I don't know how many of you played Anti Birth or have watched Anti Birth. I'm sure a lot of you have. Um, but I'm super excited for the Red Key, and we know it's coming back because it was in uh it was in the trailer, the little teaser trailer he did. Um, for those of you that don't know what the Red Key is, it's possibly one of the coolest items in um in Anti Birth in Isaac in general, really. Uh, and essentially what it does. Ooh, this is a good room to do this uh, essentially what it does is it makes it so that let's just knock this over here makes it so that when you use it it creates a new room like on the floor um what we got here grubby penny an egg when reaching a floor has a chance to hatch into a familiar taking damage as a chance to break it let's go with that um yeah like it um it creates a new room like literally a brand new room on the floor and it can be used like tons of times and the rooms themselves can charge it so four room charge you can make a lot and a lot of new rooms but the rooms can be anything they can be sacrifice rooms they can be shops they can be item rooms it's really really cool you can build up some very very interesting uh, runs with that i really like it um but you where the hell is our item room here it is and ooh, interesting item room uh i guess we just take the witching that was an interesting item room there. A golden teleporter would have been a great one to take there if we didn't have Satanic Bible. Satanic Bible's just too good. It's just too good. Oh, the Fallen as well. More deal the devil items. Are you kidding? Uh, Bad Apple, that is not worth it with um, Mum's Knife. I don't know how it would even interact with Mum's Knife, but it's not worth it. Um, hmm. I don't think that's worth it either, you know. I think all of these are kind of bad. Let's go. Let's see if our egg hatches. Hopefully we get like Incubus or Succubus as our familiar that it hatches into. The egg seems like an interesting item. Okay, it hatched. Cyberbum converts battery charges into pickups. Get the leftover charge from clearing rooms when your item is fully charged. Okay, sounds good to me. I mean, it's very rare that he's going to actually help. And if he takes one of my battery charges, I will literally kill myself. But um, sounds good to me. Well, this is just uh, a kind of kind of a chill run now, isn't it? Just kind of a chill run. It's kind of hard to like like I don't have as much banter as normal just because I'm in lockdown and I'm not doing anything. I'm just just chilling. All my all my banter, hello. All my banter is just from the games I've been playing recently. Um, <gasps> Rainbow chess, we don't have a key. Uh, you don't need a key to open them, so that's good. Right, so open this. Open this. Cost bombs. Open this. Um, bomb that one. Do love myself a rainbow chest. Oh, that's a lot of keys. Really? The double troll bomb payout? That was the worst rainbow chest in the history of ever. Like, we got keys, but normally you get like an item or two. That was a really bad rainbow chest. Sad times. Sad times. But at least we managed to use the uh, the bombable through walls thing. At least we managed to use that. I have changed my mic set up as well, so you guys will have to let me know. Um, have to let me know how that sounds. I've, I've changed it up just a little bit, so it should hopefully be a little less peaking. Like, I noticed in some of my previous Isaac videos and a few of my other series that my mic, although the volume levels were fine, it kept peaking a little bit. I think it was because my mic was too close to my face. I kind of moved it and lowered the volume a little bit. So it should be a little bit better, a little bit more clear. Um, oh, nice item. Prayer card. <laughs> Do you know what? I will take it and use it once. Gimme, give gimme. Give You're dead. But I, I suppose I'm going to... I can go into some... I can go into some old... Old banter. I have told this story like once or twice before on the channel, but I'm sure there's plenty of people that still haven't heard it, so I'm going to go into it. For those of you that don't know, um, for quite a long time, when I moved to the city I'm living in now, away from home, I moved here uh, after finishing university because my girlfriend went to university here. Uh, I went to university in my hometown, but then I moved here. Um, and yeah, I ended up getting a job at a shop called Heron, which is uh, just like a basic shop. It's, it's ba basically it's like a budget shop. It's it's really really cheap. Uh, Heron buys like all of their stock from shops that that can't sell it, sort of thing. So can you, can you stop shooting me? Oh my god! 
Um, so uh, imagine, like, for example, there's a promotional deal bottle of Pepsi that doesn't go out of date, actually. Oh, my God. Yes. Um, that doesn't go out of date until, like, 2025. So, let's say. I don't even know if Pepsi goes out of date. But let's say that. It doesn't go out of date until 2025. But it's got a promotional, like, the actual, the actual labeling is a promotional deal for FIFA 2021. After 2021... No one, no shop is going to want to sell that. But Heron, Heron don't give a shit. So they sell it at like a really discount price. And they do that with a lot of different stuff. Uh, it, was, it was really good. I, I, I liked working there. Um, I loved shopping there, especially. Um, it's very, very nice. Um, ooh, a luck penny. You're giving me a strength card. Cool. I'm going to take this though. Um, but yeah, uh, it was it was great. Like uh, I worked there for quite a while. It was in a pretty rough area. The city that I live in has some has some really really rough areas that are like just not very well maintained by the by the gov government. Pretty run down, kind of kind of high crime. Like a uh, few people got stabbed at my work. Not while I was there, but <laughs> they had been previously. Like some like the shop had been armed robbed three times. It was kind of like a bit sketch, but. The people that worked there and most of the customers were actually genuinely really nice. Saying that though, I did have to deal with some erratic customers um, on on a pretty much daily basis. There was a, there was a few people that come in. I got quite a lot of druggies that had come in, quite a lot of drug users that were just like out of their mind on drugs. Um, they they would come in from time to time, um, and this one guy came in and like he'd. I don't, know if, I don't know if Spice has, like, kind of made its way around the world yet, but Spice is a pretty big drug in the UK at the moment. Um, we'll take BFF. Yeah, Spice is a pretty big drug in the UK at the moment, and es essentially, from, from at least what I know, it's cannabis, it's weed, that's been rolled or, like, mixed with chemicals, and it's, it's like... Oh, why didn't I take Nun's habit there? Um, it's incredibly, incredibly strong, and it, it like it can kill you in a single dose if you don't know how to take it properly. At least one from what I've heard. Um, it's it's really dangerous. Um, and uh, yeah, the ooh, Mr. Mega, nice one. Uh, we we had a few people that come around that were um that were users of it, and like I remember one time we had someone come in that was just like making no sense and like absolutely off the head and they like went outside and like fell over and like an ambulance came and took them because they were like laid on the floor not moving for like two hours so he might have died i have no idea it's possible <laughs> i really don't know so that was kind of scary um no we don't strength card uh yeah that, that was kind of messed up but most of the time it wasn't stuff like that. That, that, that that was a very very rare occurrence we got we got a few thieves coming in every now and again people trying to nick stuff um and we used to have this security guard um uh, called Jimmy that would that would just uh, he was quite he was quite old he was like pr probably like two or three years off retirement maybe, maybe four or five he was pretty old uh, for a security guard but he was so good he was like the best security guard I've ever seen at any shop I've been to okay what we got here bloody stream death list let's go with death list um yeah for, for one main reason he, like for one he'd actually help out around the shop which a lot of security guards don't do because obviously they don't have to but sitting at the door for eight hours a day just seems really dull so he actually helped out around the shop which was great but more so because he was really good at like at actually being a security guard like apparently i wasn't there when it happened this happened before i started but apparently one time when the shop was being armed robbed he he defended the shop with a shovel like he, he found like a a sort of you know, you know one of them plastic shovels that you get for like shoveling snow the really the really big curved ones he he got one of those that was in the back and like fought off a guy with a knife <laughs> with a with a shovel apparently which i would have loved to have seen um and yeah he chased them out the shop and like <laughs> they didn't manage to get any money which is kind of crazy um so he he was always a laugh when we were when we were there um he was always really friendly and um really good to work with but like i said there was a few customers that were like that were really oh that was close really like over the top kind of crazy one, one time um i was on the on the tills I, like i for, for a lot of the time when i was there i, wor I worked the tills um looks of war no uh yeah for a lot of time while i was there i worked the tills until i got promoted um but while I was there on the tills, you, you obviously you hear, you hear a lot of the customers talking and, and, and stuff. And one guy used to come in and he used to get really political. And not not to be not to be mean, but he his views were um, his his views were that of that of the sort of people that I wouldn't regularly speak to. Let's say that. 
Um, I, I don't much care about most people's political views, but oh, what, what in the fuck is this boss? But these political views were a little spicy, a little spicy, let's say that. Um, and, uh, and for some reason, he always used to like to come in the shop and say, I don't want to talk about pol politics, and then proceed to talk about politics. Um, <laughs> and this one time, he was talking about... Um, ooh, that's nice. He was talking about, like, uh, like gays and lesbians, and... Uh, this guy did not have the best of views on 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 people people of that persuasion, and one of one of his quotes, one of the things that he said, and this is something that he said in a line of like five or six people with a few staff members around, with unprompted by the way. No, this was not part of any conversation that was pre-existing. This was unprompted. He said, "Oh, I don't know. I think the um the the, the that was it. He went, oh, I don't know. They should all be locked up." The rapists, the murderers, and the lesbians. That that was a genuine thing that he said. He considered lesbians to be in the same bracket as rapists. What the hell? Like, what the fuck happens to you as a child to make you believe that? What on earth? Like, I gotta say, people can have their own views, but not them views. Come on now. <laughs> That's absurd. Also, our health is kind of getting a bit low here. Um, like, yeah, what the hell? That's just that's just not right. <laughs> and like, I, like I found it pretty funny at the time. Like, obviously, I, w I didn't find the statement itself funny. It was terrible. Um, but my boss heard it. He was there, and he said, "What about the vegans? You're gonna lock them up too?" <laughs> uh. Oh, it's funny. Um, but yeah, like, it's, cr it's just, I can never understand, like, I get that there's people out there that are, that are racist for whatever reason. I mean, it's not good, but I, I like, I, I'm not going to say, I'm not even going to say I understand it because I don't, but I understand that they exist, but that's like on another level. That's on a, that, that's on a, on a whole nother level. Oh, for God's sake, how'd you hit me then? That's like crazy levels of, uh, of <laughs> intolerance. Um, I, I once had someone else as well come in and have like an absolute mental breakdown because their kid spilled a drink. Like they were in the line and they're, they'd given their kid a, a drink that they'd bought from the shop um, and said like, there you go. The kid was like three, maybe. It like, it, maybe even younger. I, I don't know. It was, it was just old enough to be fluent. Oh my God. We had, we are hemorrhaging HP. It was just, just old enough to be fluently speaking. Like not, not full on complicated sentences but what the hell that, that that guy just shot from nowhere yeah it was like old enough to be to be speaking um and like she just like she spilled a drink on her and she was in like a pram and this the mum just absolutely and, and bear in mind this is someone that had been to the shop multiple times before and seemed like a very normal and reasonable person for for every single other time that i'd seen her and she just went psycho shit like absolutely batshit crazy. Like she was, she was like screaming at the child, like telling the child it was a fucking idiot, and and like throwing things off of the pram. She like dis disassembled the whole, the whole like pram, the whole chair, uh, took it all apart, and like sat on the floor cleaning it and scrubbing it, um, and was like like so mumbling to herself and like scolding the child constantly while there was a bunch of other customers. I mean, she never came in again. She must have been like real embarrassed but she like i can imagine that person was saying like the i have seen some people have like meltdowns but that was that was on another level that was that was real crazy i i, I don't know how you would how you would be sane of mind and get that irrationally angry at a drink being spilt it was it was mental it was so bizarre to see i mean obviously as well like everyone in the shop and i don't i don't just mean staff I mean, everyone in the shop was like, let's stand the fuck back. Um, let's grab that. And let's go. Yeah, like, everyone was like, hmm. Let's, uh, let's stay away from that, from that nonsense. There's, there's no part of this that we want. But she was in the store for, like, a good, like, 40 to 50 minutes cleaning up this pram. And, yeah, it was just, like, it was insane. Oh, God. We, uh, we might die. We might die. I have, I have just realized we are on very low health. Let's, uh, let's hope we get some battery charges and our little shithead doesn't steal them. Okay. Let's just not get hit. Easy. Let's just not get hit. Thing is, though, we need a lot of rooms without getting hit. 
to get our health back here. Okay, blow that up real quick. Bit of reward, that's pretty nice. These enemies are a pain in the ass. Oh, for God's sake, yeah. Almost got me. Almost got me. Oh, dead end. But yeah, that like there was a few there's been, there's been a few other moments at that store as well where where people have been like real psycho, but that was that was like the crowning achievement of psycho. I I've never seen someone react like that. Ooh, tinted drop. Please give me double soul heart. The single will do. Was hoping for the double. Okay, good. This we can hopefully get a soul heart out of. Our luck is okay, so. We got one, two. Okay, two two puts us back in the game. Basically, we need enough... Oh, my God. We needed enough um, soul hearts to make it so that we could get hit a few times and and still be able to regen back. But th at that point, we weren't really at that amount. I hate this. But... Something I'm looking forward to as well that was mentioned in the blog post by Edmund recently is that they're going to be bringing a bunch of buffs to old items that are kind of trashy. Because one of the things that they've basically said that they're definitely doing uh, or definitely striving to do is make the game a lot more balanced and making hard mode harder. Making the game more difficult in general, but in a fair way. Um, and I'm really glad to hear that. The, the, the game definitely needs that. Uh, and in doing so, they're going to be uh, adding a lot more synergies, which makes things a little easier to, to beat, but also buffing a lot of the really bad items that no one likes. This thing's crazy. That thing's hyper speed. Yeah, just buffing a bunch of the really bad items that, like, nobody likes seeing. Pro I'm, I'm guessing, like, milk and, like, holy water are gonna be some of the ones on there. This is, this is too many hands, game. This is too many hands. That was the double there. That was the double. No. Stay away. Mine. Holy awe. I think I'm fine, thank you. Oh, that was so dumb. I just... I've got too many pets, and with BFF, they're just... They're huge. So I can't actually, I can't actually see the tears that are incoming. Okay, can you stop spawning, shits? Okay. Got hit two times there for absolutely no reason. Let's, let's hope that doesn't happen again. No. Oh, that was such a bad hit. I went to the wrong corner. Cool. Down we go. Down we go. What do we have here? Um, Wafer. Wafer wins us it. This gives us Bookworm. And I guess I take this too. But yeah, Wafer just absolutely won us the run. Okay, now this is... I feel like that room was a little unfair. Okay, yeah, uh, even even just Bookworm has upped our damage by a lot here as well, so very, very good all in all. Our luck is such that we should hopefully get a few items here and there. Okay, I actually kind of hate having these health bars. It's actually kind of hard to focus on the enemy itself. Okay, we have we have some crazy looking bombs right now. Oh, we're, oh we've, we've got the Wrath uh, transformation as well, so now we're explosive immune. Which means we can use bombs a little more prodigiously. We've only got 13, so we're going to use tons, but we can. Grab you. Oh! God damn it. But yeah, now, one, one hit every five rooms actually benefits us in HP, rather than previously. Oh my god. This is kind of a hard room right now. We're good, we're good. Oh, a lot of these rooms are hard rooms. Go, Winkybus, go. The, what, what's this over here? I think we've got a Luck Penny back in this room. Luck Penny is actually kind of good for us, so let's take it. This one? Yeah, got it. Yeah, extra Luck means extra chests. It's always nice. Right, wow, that was like the fastest boss find on this floor. Really? Dro dropped him right in my head. Oh, nice. Our wrath is making us throw out bombs randomly. How? I, I, I can't see when I'm getting hit or not because there's just too much shit going on. I mean, there's absolutely no way that I die here, but... Like, even if I stopped shooting completely, I think I'd still win. But there you go. 
What a good run. What a fantastic run. Absolutely amazing. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.